Hello and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today is day six and we made it through a full week. I am so proud of myself and so shocked. Also, I like, I noticed that like literally no one is doing Vlogmas anymore. So on brand for me to do something that is so not cool anymore. You know what I mean? But here we are. It's kind of a fun challenge and I also like, it keeps me sort of occupied. Not that I'm not like completely occupied, in fact, Right now, I just got Annie down for a nap, and like, I have so much to do, like piles of laundry to fold, and things to put away, bottles to wash, and I just like, want to stare out the window. It's a, This is an exhausting task, so today I'm just going to sit down and have a little bit of chat, a little honest and open conversation about um, postpartum, and um, sort of a mental health check-in. I am doing this a lot for myself just as like a self diary and a way for me to express myself and sometimes talking out loud makes me feel better but also um for people out there that are experiencing similar feelings it doesn't necessarily need to be postpartum um but that like feel like maybe it's not talked about as much i do like know that in mom culture like it's really easy to get swept up in self-comparison, especially with social media. I mean, that's with like everyone, not just moms, but like very specifically, um, it's super easy. And I found that this week I was feeling um, a little more depressed than I've been feeling in a while. I do know that postpartum um, depression is like a journey and um, I'm going to ride the roller coaster for quite some time. It's going to take some time to like really heal and like get through this stage of my life. I'm so grateful for Annie and her health and my health and my husband's health, like all of it. Um, but I'm still experiencing feelings of real, like, like sadness um, and loss, loss in my last life, confusion, like, all, you know, like all the, all the feelings. And um, this week I was like, I've been feeling them pretty strongly well, you've watched my vlogs, so I've I've been having like a fun week, and then yesterday I just didn't vlog because I'm ahead of you, so I was like, all right, give myself permission to just like kind of sit in my in my doom and gloom yesterday, but I feel like it's important to at least check in and have this conversation, like I said, so that people out there that don't feel like they have a voice or don't feel like they're being recognized or like understood, maybe this helps you. So basically... I took that like mommy and me class I told you guys about and Annie had a hard time and then I had a hard time and like I know it's good for us to like socialize but like then again she's like not even four months yet so like I feel like because we had such a dramatic like first couple of months with all the heart stuff and Jeff having to do this by himself like just so much was packed into the first couple of months of Annie's birth it's felt like she has been around for a lot longer than she actually has so I feel this sense of like guilt first of all for like not being there for the first week of her life and then also like I feel like this weird pressure to like do a bunch of stuff with her like she needs to be in classes. She needs to do this. She needs to do that. Like, we're behind, we're behind, we're behind. And it's like, whoa, wait a second. She's literally not even four months yet. We're not behind. We're we're doing great. And she's doing great. Um, and so I had signed her up for this class. And the class was wonderful. And it was like four kids, like specifically from her age group. And I'll leave the link if you missed that video. Um, but uh, they were off for Thanksgiving and ever since that class I've just kind of been like dreading going back and I like paid for it up front and it was like not cheap and the real issue here is like other than the fact that like okay she cried during class like I can handle that like yes I can suck it up and like go back to class but the real problem that I was having is that the class was less about like baby playtime and it was more about like like talking through parenting challenges and like mommy stuff and like postpartum like really it was like more about the parent than it was the kid and I think I am just like not really ready to go there yet in public with other people strangers I don't know like I just started getting comfortable with doing like group classes online or group um sorry like group therapy online and I just started getting comfortable with that. I'm a pretty like introverted, like sensitive gal. And like, 
a lot of these um, moms, everyone was like struggling in one way or another because life is flipped upside down when you have a kid, but like most everyone seemed like they were like doing pretty well and like kind of had their stuff together, whether they did or not, you know, um, don't judge a book by its cover, but I just was in such a different place than a lot of them. And I think like, again, I'm not trying to like have a pity party and keep leaning on this, but like the heart failure thing, like I'm still working through that. Like oh, it's a big, like a big traumatic thing that like, I feel like once I got better, I've been like feeling like I need to just like, okay, we don't talk about it anymore. Move it on. Like time for me to like pull up my bootstraps or whatever, big girl pants and like be mom. And it's like, whoa, hold on. I'm still really trying to process the fact that like I almost died and um, that was really scary. So anyways, I've sort of been like, why am I dreading going back to this mommy and me thing? Is it really because I just don't want to like deal with any crying? And I'm like, no, it's, it's really because I'm just not ready to like socialize in that setting with moms and like talk about ourselves like this upcoming week we're supposed to talk about like everyone's going to go around and they're going to talk about something that like they love or like something about them that isn't about being a mom and like the thought of like even doing that <laughs> I don't know like makes me like cringe and it's just like not for me um and on top of that um Okay, so that's like just social anxiety, like generally speaking also. But on top of that, all these moms are in this like WhatsApp group. And I talked about this a little bit in that video. But like I was feeling like, and they like are on there like all the time. Like, and, and they're all very lovely women. This is no like hate on them at all or on anybody that like does those groups or anything. But like I was feeling really like pressured to keep up first of all with like the conversations and there were so many of them like they would just I would like leave the phone for you know an hour and come back and see there's like 57 messages um and at first I was feeling like really pressured to like add like to contribute to the conversation but like I didn't have anything to say and I didn't want to but I was like feeling this pressure like to fit in I have to like add to the conversation so I like twice I added a picture once of Annie sorry a huge helicopter um and like contributed like to one like question someone had asked or something and I just felt like I don't know I just felt this was like constant like doom every time I would look at my phone and like see that app and see like that there was messages there and like also on there moms were talking about moving their kid to the crib and like hitting all these um you know uh, milestones and uh, just like so much talk about making sure that their child is like on target and like just so much mom talk which again like I'm grateful for them that they have this place to do it but like for me for some reason it was just adding more stress to my plate and more like neuroses about like making sure that like she's on target for everything and we're doing everything right and like I have a problem with perfectionism and like um it stresses me out and like uh I think it was just not good for my mental health to be a part of this group so I uh, obsessed about emailing them to cancel our spot in class for the last week and I found that I would like wake up at 5 a.m and like spiral in my head thinking about it um because I was like embarrassed and also like I felt like I was like failing or I was giving up um or like worse than every anything I felt like am I doing Annie a disjust like a disservice by not bringing her back to that class am I taking an opportunity away from her that she needs and deserves and I just like spiraled and spiraled and spiraled about this this is how literally my brain is working right now and I'm sure some of you can definitely understand um these sort of thought patterns and spirals which is why I'm sharing it with you um to say that you're not alone um Anyways, I finally decided this morning, I was like, okay, this is like enough already. I'm just going to email them and I'm going to be honest and I'm going to say like, thank you so much. I like love the teacher. I like want to be her friend, but like, this isn't exactly what I thought it was. I sort of had this vision that this was going to be more about the kids playing and less about like talking about mommy. And I'm just not mentally in the right space to be doing this and it ended up stressing me out more. Just like 
again, I like to try to be brutally honest. I feel like it's the best way to be, um, especially in these situations. Like, the more vulnerable I could be, like, I feel like the response is better. Um, and so they wrote me back, like, right away, and they were so kind, and they're like, we just want the best for our parents. And, like, it was, like, brave of you to even, like, try this at this point in your, in your like, journey. And, like, you're always welcome back, and we're happy to refund you. Like, it was, like, it couldn't have been better. So I probably didn't need to obsess about it for the last week. <laughs> and I'm proud of myself for, like, sending the email and, like, just making the decision um, one way or another. Like, sometimes that limbo thing of not making a decision is like far more stressful than just like being like no this is my intuition I feel that this isn't the right time and space and class for me like it's okay I have nothing to prove to anyone like just make the decision um so you know I guess I guess in the end it was like a good learning experience and a win for me and that like I finally was like Lisa this doesn't feel right email them and it like went down sw swimmingly even better than I could have imagined and then I found another like music class that's a lot closer a lot shorter a lot cheaper um and is like just that it's like a 45 minute music class like the kids are just gonna sing songs and like play with instruments um and I can focus on my mental health and like my mom mean stuff via my birth trauma group and my therapist and like you know do that in my own space in my own time in my own comfort and let the kid stuff just be the kid stuff for now so that was the decision I made this week and I feel like that was weighing on me and kind of making my sads a little bit stronger this week um, because I just felt like all this like mom guilt um the mom guilt thing is like so real I always heard about it um and I've seen it come up a lot um, in my thought patterns and like in situations um just you know I want to do the best for my child I just want to do the best for her and like make sure she's cared for and like given the best opportunities and like I want to make sure I'm not missing out on anything and like doing it all right but like I guess what doing right is is just like doing right by my intuition and um trusting that that is enough um and I erased the WhatsApp. I said thank you to the one mom. I like private messaged the one mom that had helped me when Annie was crying in class. And I was like, hey, just so you know, like I'm, we've decided to like leave the class, but I wanted to say thank you so much uh, for your help. And it really meant a lot. And you're always gonna be the angel that helped us um, in our first mommy and me class. And she was like really nice. And then I um, deleted the app and I feel so much better. Like. I don't have to have that on my phone looming over me. It's one less stress that I have to deal with and it's just better for my mental health. So this is a reminder, if you need to erase any sort of apps or groups um, or leave any groups like Facebook groups too, like I should probably do that. There was that like uh, postpartum cardiomyopathy group that I probably don't need to be a part of anymore on Facebook. I find it to be less helpful now and will just like more triggering. But like if there's anything in the social world anything like on your phone essentially that is like stressing you out like it's okay to erase it walk away from it um delete it let go of it sign out you know all those things mute it um and i think uh today there is just a reminder like yeah okay i don't have to like go along with things just because I feel like I'm supposed to. I'm only supposed to do what feels right for me and for my family. So that's what I wanted to talk about today and the lesson I'm passing along to you that I learned today. Um, and that a shout out to all my parents out there who um, are struggling to like, you know, find the joy. <laughs> um, I find the joy, but like some days are harder than others, especially the days when I'm home all day by myself and with Annie and like I don't have the energy to like do much or don't have the time to do much or she's not napping really well and you know I haven't changed out of my pajamas all day. Like I know this is such a small blip in the grand scheme of 
my journey as a mom and so I'm trying to like enjoy these little moments and know like it's not going to be forever that I'm going to have the opportunity to just like roll around on the ground with her um, <laughs> without putting on clothes or brushing my teeth putting on clothes but like pajamas um, or brushing my teeth and like to really try to like soak in these moments right now because it's not forever but also give myself grace um, in that like it's okay this is hard this is this is hard and it's allowed to be hard and it's allowed to be joyful and it's allowed to be all the things so um yeah shout out to all you out there that are just kind of going day by day i love you very much um if you guys missed it i have been doing vlogmas like i said we actually had a really fun week we defeated uh black widows we talked about only fans we decorated for christmas uh i'll leave the link of the playlist for vlogmas down below let me know if i should keep doing it um and um yeah um we'll see what the next week brings thanks for always giving me a safe space to express myself be myself and um share with you guys i love you so very much and um i appreciate you on to the next day